Hey everybody, Eric here from Around To It Videos, and you know me as Johansson99 here on YouTube. And today we're doing a movie edit pro tutorial on freeze frames and animated GIFs. Now, if you look in the background, you'll see I'm already doing a freeze frame effect for you. And uh, you already get the idea behind the freeze frame is that's where your video's moving along, all of a sudden stops, and then moves again. You're going to learn how to do that today. Now, with the animated GIFs part of this tutorial, if you don't have version 14, you're not going to be able to do this. So, uh, the animated GIFs tutorial section in this video is only for people that have version 14. Sorry, but uh, if you don't have it, you got to upgrade to it. I'm telling you, it's a good program. Anyway, let's get to it. I've got Movie Edit Pro open in the timeline mode, and I've already dropped my video to uh, track one. And it's my model, it's my airplane, my remote control airplane, one of them. And this one took a little tumble when it hit the ground, if you can see that. Yes, it does happen. I think that was the first time this year. Right. Anyway, uh, let's do a freeze frame right before it hits the ground. Right there. Alright, that looks pretty good. We moved the start marker to where, to the part in the video where we want to do the freeze frame. You're going to hit the T key. You split your video. Now put the uh, put your mouse pointer on the start marker. Right click one time, zoom to one frame, and what we're going to do, we're going to capture one frame of this video and export it as a picture file. All right, so we've got the start marker and the end marker on one frame of the video. We're going to go up, click File, Export, Export as single frame JPG. And again, like in my previous video tutorials, when you export your single frame picture file, make sure that the resolution you export it at is going to be the same resolution as your video. Okay? So, mine is 640 by 480 and that's what I'm going to export it as. I have to click the uh, little folder button to select the destination and let's save it in the same folder I'm working out of and we're going to call this plane crash okay then you click the OK button say continue and that's it now you've got your single frame picture file right here that's it and uh, what we're going to do let's uh, zoom back out you can do that at the lower right hand bottom of the screen if you look at these buttons right here you can do all your zooming down here as well uh, I showed you earlier by hitting it Hit right clicking on the start button but if you look down here if you click left click on your zoom you can do all your zooming in right here uh, let's go back to zoom to fill movie length okay now we're back to the original size and what you want to do you made your freeze frame so and you've split your video up grab that second half of the video drag it around a little bit and give you a little space to put your freeze frame in Drag your freeze frame down, make it whatever length you want your freeze frame to last. And let's just say, I don't know, three or four seconds. Put it in between your two video clips, and then make sure they're together again seamlessly. And now let's look at it again and see what we've got. and that's how you do the freeze frame effect very easy to do that's also the freeze frame is also capturing an image from your video if you didn't get that by now but that's how you do the freeze frame effect with movie edit pro now let's go on to something different we want to do animated gifs so i'm going to drag my video down to the timeline and for an animated gif you do not need sound so I'm going to hit control M. I'm going to remove the sound from this video. 
and I think that's a pretty good one right there that's my friend and I we were out racing our nitro trucks and that's him jumping off that's him jumping his Revo off of a little hill so I like that video right there that would be a great animated GIF so what you do you find out what part of the video you want to make your animated GIF out of let's see I want mine to last about that long okay so that's it so let's say four seconds okay so you put your start your start marker wherever you want it on your video for your starting of your animated GIF you put your end marker right there I said four seconds and this is really easy we've got it set up we click file export movie as and all the way down to the bottom animated GIF now here you can make this animated GIF any size you want to uh, 20 frames per second uh, the resolution is up to you uh, the smallest resolution is 160 by 120 and then it just goes on up to like 1920 by 1080 just keep it just keep in mind that uh, the larger the resolution uh, the larger the GIF file will be in the end I like to keep mine small uh, no bigger than uh, say 240 by 180 that's up to you play around with it and see what you like anyway select your resolution click the uh, folder under file for the destination name it and then click OK and OK and that's it and I can't really show you right here it, it, I can show you one this is one that I've already made it doesn't show up too well because I made it so small but that's an animated gift that I made from that video anyway if you look in my video notes there's a link to this animated gift that I just made in the video notes and you can click on that link in the video notes and it'll play it anyway I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial today and uh, I'd like to see uh, some some video responses if possible I've gotten a few here lately from these tutorials and I think that's really great so you guys and gals keep up the good work and we'll talk to you later thanks for watching another round to it video <laughs>